thinking, since it's your birthday, maybe you should start the vlog. Hello, my lovelies. How well, are you today? This is video is going to be called Stefan's Birthday Party. Ooh, and I'm seven years old. Seven years old? Yeah. Oh my god, well, seven is like really like a big number, yeah. you know that? It means you're really a boy now. I mean like seven days a week and... And seven years old. Yeah. Wow, what, what an important number, huh? Yeah. I quite like number seven. Well, I like number eight. Thousand. Oh. Eight thousand. Yeah. You like that number? Yeah. Quite a unusual one. But um, how do you feel as a seven-year-old boy? Pretty good, but um, I'm pretty sad that I was six. That I'm like changing into seven because I was like really liking it when I was six. Oh, yeah, getting old and all of that stuff. Yeah. Right? Tough. I know how it feels. I mean, to be honest, I quite like being uh, 32. You know, but in half a year, I'm gonna be 33. Yeah. It's like also kind of an important age. You know, so yeah, for blogging and all that. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. You know, it's a bit of a, but you know, that's life. Yeah. So you just have to do what you do. But today we're going out. We're gonna have a breakfast out, right? Yeah. And I'm so excited that we get to have this time together. Yes. So let's start it. Okay, guys. So Stefan just left to get ready because we're going to town. It is his birthday today, and we're gonna have like a really nice family breakfast. Very happy because my family's here, and it's just it's honestly the most beautiful time for me to spend with them, especially before the hectic period of fashion week ahead. Um, I got dressed up, which I would actually like to show you. But yesterday, or I don't know when I arrived, actually even when I arrived, I tried to unpack. And I opened my suitcases and stuff and I wanted to get some stuff out of the suitcases. I created so much mess. I was unboxing this new Misuma jewelry that I'm actually wearing right now. I received the new Misuma Harris Street pieces that I think is the most beautiful Misuma collection to date. And I mean, when I say that, it has, I think, significance because I have been wearing Misuma pieces for, I think, over three or four years. I can't even remember when I first fell in love with the brand. But I really, really, really love it. You guys love it too, I know, because you always tag me in your stories whenever you get a piece. And it's kind of, for me, my wardrobe like essentials are from Misuma. So when I saw this new collection, it was so different from anything else before, but in a way that it still has that Misuma DNA in it. But because of the collaboration with Harry Street, who is, by the way, someone I really admire and I think who's done so great, whose attitude and energy I love. So when I saw the collection, I was like, oh my God, I've been working with Misuma for so long and you guys know how much I wear their pieces, but this is something that you will be seeing on me a lot. I will make sure to link all the pieces below. Actually, you know what I'll do first? I'll insert the clip of when... I unboxed the pieces first, so let's do that now. I just opened this box and in there, oh my God, I've got so many beautiful packages. And actually I wanted to show you the outer box as well before I open these because there's a butterfly on there. I think, I mean, can you see this? It says Harris Reed in sort of like a gold uh, cursive and then there's a butterfly because the inspiration was a butterfly that everybody should be free as butterfly to express and be who they are which I think is a beautiful message and it's what Misuma really stands for. If you look at the back it says embracing fluidity, acceptance and being fabulously who you are. Love that. Guys I basically ripped the package open um, because I couldn't wait to see them it's hard to choose but maybe my favorite necklace all the products will be linked below okay also favorite like so it's between these two these two are definite definite winners i'm gonna wear them together but then this earpiece it's basically an earring that goes all around your ear and has these pearls hanging you need to have it's not just like a you know something that you put on it's stunning and then i already put on these two rings so this one is like open the pearly one can you see it and then the one on top as well oh, i'm so in love okay so 
I mean, <laughs> you've seen the packaging, you've seen everything in the box, but now to show you the pieces on me, it's hard to tell what's my favorite piece. I really love this, and I love that the little pearl is actually turning around. I've been playing with it a lot when it's on my neck. I think also, well, okay, if I could choose just one, I think this one is my favorite because it has these two hands, and for some reason it reminds me of unity and togetherness, and I think that's something we all need at this time. Besides that, you guys know how much I love earrings. Now I've ma mixed and matched them with the earrings that I always wear and like the piercings that I wear. And I love the hand symbol again. Kind of reminds me of like people coming together of the stuff that you do with your hands. These are mono earrings by the way. Uh, so you can get just one. They come in so many different shapes and forms. I love them. But these, this is a pair. However, I'm just wearing one on this occasion. And it actually matches perfectly this necklace. So I think this is one of my favorite combos. And I love when there's a bit of a kind of hanging earring, especially with a bit of a pearl next to my face because I feel like it brings light to my face and that's something I really like so yeah a beautiful collection that has a beautiful message with it I'll link everything below and you guys can check it out and shop your favorite pieces or at least let me know in the comments below which piece really caught your eye I'm wearing mousy denim um, mousy vintage denim which is like boyfriend denim ripped a little bit but like baggy and loose Peter Doe top that I wear non-stop Saint Laurent a new cardigan might be 25 and these are and other stories sandals I believe I've had these for a year they're very like minimalistic and cool I love them in the background there you can see pieces of my suitcase which is messy and unpacked and not unpacked, it's not unpacked properly, we just opened, um, which is what's creating the mess. But that is it, everything else you see. I feel like this look is quite minimalistic, but with a bit of accessorizing, which is what I like. Now we're heading to town. Whose birthday is it today? Mine. Mine. Yes. Mine. No, I mean Stefan's. Oh, so my birthday is in six months. But I would like it to be my birthday today, actually. Well, it's your half birthday. Like. It's my half birthday. High five! Also, you know what? I haven't been in Brighton town for like a year and a half. I haven't been for a few years. Like seven, right? <laughs> right. Or eight, even. Maybe. That's a bit exaggerated, I think. How can you... How is it possible that you haven't been there for eight years when you're only seven years old? expert mama <laughs> mama always knows the best so mommy how many times have i been in the town center too many to count too many i guess and um is mama the household expert well yeah she loves to clean that's her biggest <laughs> talent the red does not talk the about biggest that. talent we're, is we're to clean we're talking about my birthday I'm oh, sorry, I'm so sorry that I derooted from your birthday topic. onto your mommy. I apologize. Yeah, what did you make a wish for your birthday? Well, after lunch, we're all going to record a video. Oh, of all of us. Me celebrating. Uh huh. My. Did you make a wish? Well, no. We're, I'm going yet. to do that after lunch, and also I'm going to do the candle for you, so we'll see a video of. Okay, well then you have to think about this wish because it's very important that when you blow the candles you also And who decorated your cake? Well, the expert householder. But let's not talk about her right now. <laughs> okay, expert household. But actually I decorated your, by yeah, the way, cake and, and I'm not the expert help. householder <laughs> in any way, shape or form. And also last night I blew 200 balloons for your decoration just to let you know for your kind regards and I didn't even get a thank you thank you a lot okay so we are currently on a road where we actually lived for how many years seven seven years we lived um, we're in Hove we lived on this road for seven years so ever since I moved to England this is where we live this is before you were born by the way it's so incredibly full of important feelings for me and emotions because 
I'll turn around to show you now in a second. Um, this is where I started my blog. This is where we shot first pictures for the blog. Yes. This is where, uh, like, everything happened here. So when I was in, in here, so much, fun. so much fun. When we were here, my sister was basically shooting pictures for my blog during the weekends. We were actually, like, this is where I was when I was invited to the first events. Absolutely. First fashion weeks that I went to, first New York fashion week that I went to, I was here. and. It's kind of crazy because I remember walking down these streets, for example, like, I don't know, going from a train station or going back from work or whatever and thinking about what content I'm going to shoot next, where am I going to shoot it, all the things. Yes, the church is here on the left and that's where I took so many blog so post many. pictures, right? We'll pass it by so now. Many. This is so, so here it is. Can you see it, Steffi, on the left? Yes, this big church. I don't know if you guys can see it because the light is not playing in our favor, but I used I to can. shoot. Yes, can you see it? Yeah. So we used to shoot so many blog posts there and on the other side of it and down the street and on the other side there are like some houses and the seafront and even here, I remember. And then if you turn right there, we were and basically. The stairs. Yes, the there stairs, we. various different stairs. It's just yeah. really, really cool. And actually, what I'll do, I'll insert some of the old blog post pictures. I don't know if you guys follow my blog, but if you don't, you should check it out. This would have been my every corner, exactly. every door, every door, literally. Um, this is where I would take like this road to come back from the train station this when I would go to London. Exactly one, yeah. here we used to shoot a lot. It's just very, very nice to come back and to remember all of these. For my birthday. Yes, for your birthday. <laughs> Now this is Palmera Square we're walking currently and this is where we also shot so much. I think it's like very, I don't know, for me it's very emotional because I can remember like 10, 12 years ago when I started doing this that I was doing it for many many years in exchange for nothing and I had no benefits from this but then after some time, you know, like you move on and you keep growing and you and it became eventually my job and it's really nice to be back here and to remember all of these spots and how, you, you know, it's like a fragrance. Sometimes you smell a perfume and you remember where you were at that given time and how you felt and sometimes for me it's like coming to these places to understand where I was, like what kind of mind frame and how I felt. So it's really, really Cool. We just sat down at a place called uh, Baked AM PM. This is what it looks like in case you want to see Prosecco brunch. That's not what we're having the celly, but I, I really like the new way of ordering in England. I've noticed it's like everywhere. You scan the QR code, you do everything on your phone, you make a payment on your phone and it just arrives. I like it. I think it's quite efficient. Unless you really have some inquiries and you want to ask how big the portions are and stuff like that, which I sometimes do, but not on this occasion I'm starving. It's almost one o'clock and I cannot wait for my veggie breakfast. So, so happy. And um, I'll let you know how it is because it's my first time actually in this place in home. All sorts of breakfast. What is your favorite breakfast? Stefan, what are you having? Uh, pancakes with some blueberries and ice cream, ice and cream Nutella and Nutella and cream. Yum! Looks good, good. delicious. Okay, guys, we arrived at Harrods. I'm 20 minutes before the before I need to meet the team, so I'm gonna go in and have a turmeric latte. I'm so obsessed with this earring, like it's so, so stunning. As you can see, I kind of mix and match with all of my jewelry and things like that. But I just love the hand and the pearl and all the detailing on it. It's so beautiful. Okay, guys, we just made it to this Fendi pop-up at Harrods ground floor. So uh, they have always the best pop-ups here. And for me, if you ask me, I think, I mean, I've said this before, I, I told you this so many times, but Kim Jones has done, and like, a, a mis Mission Impossible, basically, because <sighs> Fendi's always been so amazing, and the craftsmanship, and the materials, everything's so great, but to create such a wonderful collection, after Karl Lagerfeld, which, well, who you know how much 
I loved. I think that was really, really a big bite and a big job and he did incredible. So today we will be shooting a few pieces. I love this. This is what I chose. It's like a little wool shorts blazer set. I'm going to show you what it looks like on. Uh, we're going to take some pictures here. I cannot wait to show you how it all turns out. Okay guys, I couldn't wait to show you this look. I think this is just insane. We've got this Fendi first bag. I love it. Then the shorts, the crop knit and the accessories. Look at the hair clips, the earrings. So beautiful. Also the tights. And I mean, you've seen these before. It's just amazing. Honestly, this bag, I don't know if you remember it from my Instagram in May. I will insert a picture here. I think it's so stunning. I really love Fendi first. And I love what Kim Jones is doing, like I already said 25 times. Also, how stunning are these hair clips? I really, really love them. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the fastened seatbelt signs have been switched off. When it is safe to leave your seats, take care when opening overhead lockers as items may have moved and could fall out and cause injury. Um, welcome back to Milan, guys. I mean, I woke up at five. I slept all the way to the airport. Then at the airport, I kind of like went through I was sitting, like, doing some emails at the lounge, like the kind of ones that I'm behind with. And then I slept throughout the whole flight until I realized that my knee is hurting because it's numb. I do tend to have problems with my left knee ever since I was 18. It's been always hurting me whenever I sit long for, when I sit down for a long period of time. And my mom took me to the doctor and the doctor said, it's called a problem of tall women, even though I'm not really that exceptionally tall or whatever but he said there's something and there's nothing that can be done about it it's just gonna hurt and recommends physical activity so ha, that's it i don't know why i told you this story <laughs> i really don't know why i told you this story what i wanted to do is to tell you that we've arrived home sweet home i'm very happy very happy oh and i'm going to the office in a second i'm getting very distracted i'm going to the office so i need to bring this to my management team I'm gonna leave in 10 minutes and before I leave I wanted to do an Hermes unboxing because I got a few things in that vlog, you know, a few vlogs ago and you guys were like, show us, show us, show us. So I'm gonna open what's in there now because I also wanna use those things. Honestly, the only thing I've been wearing on my feet, this was my outfit. These are like Zara trousers, Bottega top and my off-white sneakers. This is all I've been wearing the off-white sneakers, I mean, because every single day that's all I wear. I love them so much. They're the night collaboration. Okay, so uh, this is it. Um, there are three things inside. So we start from the tiniest one. You guys might kind of understand what this is because I have spoken about it before, I believe. I think so. My boyfriend doesn't really like it, but... I love him so much, however, when it comes to things like this, I need to get what I want to get because A, it's my job and B, I tend to use it and wear it, so. Okay, item number one. This actually credit goes to my friend Marco from Belgrade, who inspired me to get it. The one he sent me, actually, I even preferred, but then I thought, okay, I'm never going to wear it because I never actually wear long wallets wear use long wallets so i ended up getting this burn compact card holder it's in atoll blue which is actually used to be my wish list um color it was on my wish list in london store and i got it offered in december and then i got it offered and i don't know why i didn't get it like now i'm happy that i didn't get it because it would have gotten stolen i know why i didn't get it because it was like an epsom birkin and i was like i don't really want an epsom birkin whatever so this is a card holder and at first i thought like it's not gonna fit anything but it actually has a lot of space because inside it has here kind of more of a thick compartment and then two card little things the hardware is palladium that's better oh it's matching my nails actually perfectly and i really love it and i can't wait to put my cards in here because i think it looks very chic maybe summary the original one i was gonna get was burn compact wallet in gold and i will insert picture here really love this i think it's super super cute and i can't wait to have it in my bag and maybe now i can also get a birkin in this color too i'm <laughs> sure like i would love that actually because i love 
turquoise. That's like one of my faves. Next item is what I've been the most excited about. I couldn't wait. That's why I also wanted to do this unboxing before I go to the office because I cannot wait to open this. Are you ready? <clears throat> Here we go. I, I've never seen anybody talk about these. We've got a diary. Actually, it's not a diary. It's more like a notebook. And I need this for planning and strategizing. The color is sage. Beautiful sage color. I mean, I think. But I will get the receipt. It's in the other bag and I will, I will check in a second. This is actually... Is this the new one? No, no, this is the old. So they now have like two different kinds of uh, these diaries. The old kind is the one that you clip it on. So this is what it looks like. You buy different kind of leathers for them and you just clip it on. And I know this because I actually purchased one of these already for a friend. So I already saw them and I thought like this is so chic when you have in your bag. I already bought um, one. I think the one that I got for her was in gold, like the beige color. And I love this. I need to start planning all of my stuff for fashion week. I have so many things going on. So I need to start strategizing, planning, and this is the color I decided to get. It was be between this red and like a pink. But then I thought this looks, this is gonna look really smart on my um, desk in my office. You know, I want all of that. I'm planning so many exciting things. And the third biggest box is something that I actually wanted something similar last year, but then um, didn't end up getting it. And it's one of those things that if you don't get it now, you don't get it because. Hermes shoes are selling out so fast lately that it's insane. So what I got, Kelly closure suede boots with inside shirling. So cozy, so comfy. This is the rubber sole and very, very smart, like smart looking, you see? Now this is not like I think everybody's type of thing. Not everyone's gonna love it, but this is super me, especially in autumn, because I can wear this like with like little skirts, with um, dresses. I can also wear it with jeans when I'm going to the office, when I'm going to work, when I'm going for meetings. Very comfy, very cozy, very warm. Not the snow weather kind of boots, but I mean, maybe I can wear them in London predominantly, especially because actually we all know that snow in London is not very frequent occurrence so so that was my Hermes unboxing I just put this on so I can protect them until the day we move <laughs> the day we move uh, when is it gonna be let's hope it's gonna be soon I, I mean it is gonna be soon that's for sure I just will be away at the time that the apartment is ready because oh actually I'll remove it from the box um the point is that the day we can move into our apartment I'm going to be at Fashion Weeks because Fashion Weeks sober on like 6th of October or 5th of October, I'm not really quite sure. I will be going to Paris, as you guys know, and for that reason, I will not be here moving. I will be somewhere there working, and that's a little bit crazy, but you know. Okay, so now I'm gonna pack up my stuff and we go to the office. be able to see i just got back to the hotel i was working so i was not vlogging much at the office but today i purchased uh the new apple earphones these are airpods max with smart case let's try them on and i don't know how to open it help on the bottom side thank you Ta -da! this is so freaking cool okay but you said you can't hear anything with them it's pretty cool Actually, I can't hear anything, except for myself. Good morning from Milan. Last night I didn't sleep very well. Be I mean, actually I slept whole night, but I it was not the best sleep. Because just before going to bed, we received the news that our apartment might not be ready. 
when we thought it would be. But let's not panic before today my boyfriend calls and checks. It's apparently much more work, which is what I thought. Like, of course, I thought it was gonna take longer. Remember every time I said like, we think it's gonna be in October or end of September actually moving in in October. It was a bit like, yeah, night, but it, we didn't wanna panic. We're just waiting for today to like make a few calls and stuff like that. So right now I just got dressed up, did my makeup. As you can see, I'm actually using this new Armani eyeshadow, which I will show you in a second. It's incredible. I will link it below. I love it. It's actually not even a shadow. It's supposed to be cheek or is it eyes and cheek? Maybe it is an eyeshadow as well. <laughs> anyway, um, I love the color. I am getting ready. It's very hot in Milan. I'm going to have a pedicure and then I'm going to go to the office to do some work. So I will also be kind of figuring out everything especially because i'm leaving to south of france tomorrow already which came a little bit up. not unexpected but i was supposed to go there after tomorrow and i'm going tomorrow so yeah here's all of my stuff packed in the jody bag i don't know why my computer is so dirty i need to clean it i'm gonna pack some wet wipes too where are they I was here we go and then um agendas and stuff like that all in here so all in my jody bag i love this bag so much i actually want to get it in color okay we made it to minister nails i am comfy and cozy i'm gonna go through all of this to choose my pedicure color let's see you guys know i always go kind of for the same vibes so something pink and milky but I want something opaque as well. That's very important. They have so many things. She'll do something more girly pink. Maybe not. Should I change? No. Oh, maybe something more like this vibe even. Maybe this. I like this. I love when my toenails are cut short, clean. You know this like a milky pink. I don't know, like normally I hate filming feet, but just personal preference and I'm really happy that I could relax these two hours in the morning and do my emails in like a comfy environment while they were doing this thing and they feel so soft now, love it. One thing I have to say that it's quite hard is after you spend a week in London to come back to like a city like Milan or Paris because of the mask situation. So for a year and a half, well, let's say a year that I've been kind of, you know, not constantly at home and you had to wear a mask and stuff outside, I never had a problem wearing a mask. Not once was it an issue. Not once did I feel like, oh, forgetting the mask. After spending a week in London, no one is wearing a mask there. It's not compulsory in the hotel. They're not wearing a mask. Like, only if you go into a shopping center, like if you go to Selfridges or Harrods, you have to wear a mask but now i came back to milan and even the time even outside in some places where ha they have like a bit of a i don't know like canopy like they have something you have to wear a mask so it's really hard to now get back to the habit and i already forgot my mask twice um, so now i'm gonna get a taxi and i'm gonna go to do a lot of work at the agency i'm going there because i actually also need their help with so many different things. Have a very busy day between planning the Paris Fashion Week calendar, because Milan, they're mainly working on it, the team, but I need to do my own stuff for Paris. I need to do content calendar, which is like blog post content, Instagram content, YouTube content, all this kind of stuff. Then I have to organize all the briefs that I have for the next project. So it's a lot of stuff like that and uh yeah i'll see you over there oh and usually when i'm in the office i realize that i'm really filmed because there's so much also confidential work going on like you know stuff so yeah who are you waiting for who's coming who's coming it's me wait wait you have to be careful but Okay guys, I arrived at the office as you probably can see. Um, there's so much to do for me. I'm starting the day kicking off all the planning for Paris Fashion Week and all the other stuff. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish this vlog here because I think there's so much going on. 
and it, tomorrow we're going to South of France so I will start a new vlog then and I'm so happy that things are sort of like seeming like they're going into place even though there's a bit of back and forth but I will make sure to update you on everything in my next vlog. Bye guys!